It is officially July 10th. It is 710. And who in the class can tell me what that means? Uh, that's right, my little stoner in the back. You are correct. It, 710 is officially Dab Day. Oh my goodness. So of course 420 is the big kahuna of all cannabis holidays, right? People have been lighting up since the 70s to celebrate it, but it is a new age for marijuana consumption and the current generation has demanded another day to celebrate the wackiest of weeds. Of course, so um, of course you might not be getting off work for this holiday, hey, that happens, but you can still enjoy your cannabis concentrates with in solidarity with your cough country citizens, with your fellow citizens, guys, I encourage you to do it. So of course 420, that's the famous cannabis holiday, right? So it started out with a bunch of high school kids that were meeting up uh, to smoke weed at 420. It makes sense, that, but of course there's a whole bunch of rumor and legend around it that makes the picture a little bit fuzzy, but you know, there's a rhyme and reason to how it started. So where the hell did 710 come from? Who made this one up? Well, the easiest answer for you is that 710 upside down spells oil. So it, that's what it looks like. And that's reason enough for people to pick 710 as a day to kind of light their oil up, right? But the, uh, the specifics of 710, who started it, how it started, it's even murkier than 420. Now, some people say it was a bunch of Grateful Dead fans that were responsible for the first 710. Um, they, um, so they, they're the ones that picked uh, 710 for marijuana. And like, who's to say that deadheads needed another day? But hey, in 1966 to 68, uh, the Grateful Dead uh, resided at 710 Ashbury Street in, uh, in San Francisco. Uh, kind of the home of the hippie movement, the whole big thing. And that's really where the band came into its own. So for that reason, 710, the 710 Ashbury was a, has been a destination for deadheads ever, ever since. And it's become a leading reason as to why 710 has become 710. Uh, other people point to rapper and cannabis activist Task Rock as the originator of 710. So this guy was uh, working with a titanium production company. Uh, they're making dab nails, uh, concentrate accessories, all this. And he, uh, during that time, he dropped his new album, The Movement, in 2011 that had a bunch of songs on it like Boil the Oil and 710 that were all about like vaping concentrates, concentrate consumption. So he apparently, rumor says, he wanted to pick a day that was gonna be all about oil and make it a thing. So he landed on 710 because, flip it upside down, spells oil. Uh, so he got on the video chat forum, uh, Tiny Chat, started spreading the idea of 710, and before long, it's kind of slowly creaked into the lexicon and uh, kind of caught on with the community. Uh, so let's remember dabs, dab day, is not just about celebrating concentrates, right? It's all about celebrating how concentrates are a part of our lives today. So remember, concentrates are not a new thing, right? People have been removing the trichomes from the plant and pressing it into hash for thousands of years, for a very long time. It was always a more sensible approach to kind of transporting, storing marijuana in the ancient world. Uh, so it definitely made sense. Hash medicine kind of started becoming popular in Europe in the 17th or in the 18th century, excuse me. And in the 40s to the 60s in the US, uh, the US government started experimenting with hash serums uh, in the MK Ultra program that famously used LSD and other psychedelics to try to institute a program of mind control in the people. Uh, by the 70s, they were making hash oil with butane. Uh, that got, uh, it, they got as strong as 30% THC, stronger than anything else people were seeing at the time. But it wasn't until the 2000s and the advent of the closed loop extraction systems that we got modern concentrates like wax, butter, things like that. So it wasn't until then that things like this came into the picture. Uh, this system, this process was able to preserve more of the plant's natural cannabinoids and its terpene profile than anything that ever came before it. So when you're dabbing, right, you are vaporizing the oils and resins of the plants directly. You know, all the good compounds and the cannabinoids that you want in that smoke. So you're individually, virtually, you're individually, you're, you're in, inhaling virtually pure cannabinoids in this. No plant material whatsoever. So of course, this is going to be better for your lungs. But the caveat there is you're inhaling a lot of cannabinoids all at the same time, right? So if you are celebrating 710, uh, you please do it. This legendary 710, do it with love, people. But in, I want newbies to beware out there because if weed is going to put you on your ass, guys, it's going to be a dab to do it. So when you go out there and enjoy 710, enjoy it with caution. Okay, I want you to be safe. <laughs>